In this video, we're going to discuss what it means to defer student loans. So let's say that you have some federal student loans and for whatever reason you're having difficulty paying those loans. In some cases, you may be able to apply for and receive a deferment from your loan servicer, which allows you to postpone repaying your loans for a while. And basically, you can postpone not just the interest, but also the principal, both the principal and the interest you do not have to pay. Matter of fact, if they are subsidized loans, let's say it's a Perkins loan, for example, so it's a subsidized uh, federal loan, then the government will continue to pay the interest during the period of the deferment. So if you get a deferment for a year, the government will pay the interest during that year. However, if it's an unsubsidized loan and you receive a de deferment, then you're going to be responsible for the interest during that deferment. Of course, you can elect to pay that interest at the end of the period. Otherwise, it'll be capitalized to the loan balance. However, there are strict criteria for being eligible for a loan deferment. And basically, if you re-enroll in school, let's say that you are out of school for a while and you decide to re-enroll in school, if you're enrolled at least half time, then you audit, you're going to be able to automatically qualify for a deferment. Now, you still have to apply to your loan servicer. So you can't just assume that, hey, I enrolled in school again. It's all taken care of. You need to talk to your loan servicer. But if you're enrolled at least half time, you'll be able to get a deferment on your student loans. Also, if you become unemployed, like let's say you're after you graduate, you're, you're unemployed, or you can't get a full-time job. Maybe you just have a part-time job. You're working 10 hours a week. In that case, you can get a deferment. However, unfortunately, it's only going to be up to three years. There's a maximum of three years. They'll ask you some questions about have you been looking for work and, and so forth when you apply for the deferment. But up to three years, you can get a deferment if you're unemployed or, or don't have full-time work. Also, if, you have, if you're determined to be in a situation of economic hardship, and there are several things that can constitute economic hardship. Uh, one being if, if you're in the Peace Corps, if you're in the Peace Corps. Also, if you're on public assistance, if you are, let's say you're, you're working full time, but you have very, very low income. In that case, you can also receive a deferment for up to three years. So it's a nice feature. If for some reason you just you aren't aren't making a lot of money or you're on public assistance, you have that ability to defer these student loans until you get to a place where you're able to resume making payments. Also, if you are enrolled in an approved graduate fellowship program, and you need to make sure it's approved, or an approved rehabilitation program for the disabled, you will also be eligible for a deferment of federal student loans. And if you are on active duty, military service let, during a war god forbid there's a war or a military operation or national emergency it makes sense that of course you will be granted a deferment if you apply for one and then and and, and bear this one's a little tricky so hang with during the 13 months following qualified active duty military service so you did qualified active duty military service during that following 13 months or until you enroll again in school half time, whichever comes first. So if you enrolled half time in seven months, then it would be seven months. And you are a member of the National Guard and and this is and you are called to active duty by a governor so while you're enrolled, then in that case you can also be eligible for a deferment. But as I said, you have to apply for a deferment from your loan servicer. You can't just assume that, hey, I'm unemployed, my loan servicer will understand, or or I've enrolled in school again and they'll figure it out. You Please, please contact your loan servicer and make sure that they understand that you qualify uh, under one of these eligibility criteria and make sure that you get it in writing that you do in fact have a deferment. Otherwise, you could risk going delinquent on one of your student loans.